Hello friends and welcome for the series of e-learning. For the scholarship examination, this is your first lecture with mathematics. Now what is scholarship and how do we deal with mathematics and scholarship? We will talk little about it first and then we will go to the actual topic. In scholarship you have two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. In paper 1, as mentioned, you have first language and mathematics. First language for 25 questions, that is 50 marks, because each question carries 2 marks. And the second part of the paper 1 is mathematics, which is for 100 marks, that is 50 questions. In your final examination, in your school curriculum, you will see that you have 50 marks paper, but there you don't have so many questions. The reason is there maybe when it's a word problem, you have 3 marks question. When it's a long sum, you have 3 marks question. Here each question carries only 2 marks. Plus you have 4 options. Multiple type questions we say. So you have 4 options. On one hand we say it becomes very easy because you have ready answers with you. But on the other hand it is confusing also. When you don't know the answer then whatever you arrive with is your right answer. But when you already have options, you have to arrive at those conclusions only which are given to you. You have to select one option from them. From your curriculum, the first part that you have is numbers. Now this is this topic is something which we have dealt with right from preschool. I think the first thing that we learn in our preschool is alphabets and the second thing that we learn is numbers. Now is numbers so important? If you see in your routine life also, you will see that you use numbers at every place. Anything you go in a market and you want to buy, you will have to mention how much. That how much is going to relate with the number. So you cannot escape with numbers. Anything you do, anything, whether it is inside the house, whether it is outside the house, you have to deal with numbers. You need knowledge of numbers. In your curriculum, it is very easy because straightforward questions are asked. They will give you numbers and figures, they will ask you to write it in words. Numbers given in words, you will have to write it in figures. That is the only thing that is done in your curriculum. Other than that, you have other dimensions of numbers which you do in scholarship. So this is a different way of looking towards the same thing that you have been doing right from preschool. In standard 1, standard 2, standard 3, every, every year you will see that you have numbers in your mathematics. Okay? Whether they are directly asked or they are indirectly used, but they are there. Reading of the number, writing of the number. So this concept is something which we have already done with. Okay? So nothing to be afraid of it. Now when you write numbers, you will see that we have learned numbers from 1 to 100 in standard 1 itself. Okay. When you say numbers 1 to 100, we need to know that all the numbers that we are writing, whether it is 1 to 100 or it is a 5 digit number or a 7 digit number. What do we have? How many digits do we have at our disposal? We have only 10 digits. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. These are only 10 digits that are used to write a number. Okay? So all the play or all the thing that we are going to do will be around these 10 digits. You cannot have a single number which will be out of this. So all the numbers is combination of this. So how to read them, how to understand them is what we are going to learn today. Till standard 5, you have done with 5 digit numbers. So we will first see how to read a number. When a number is given to you, a particular number is given to you, how do you read that number? Okay. For example, if I write a very simple number, it is 2 digit number. Okay. So we know how to read it. It is 23. The digit in the units place is 3. Digit in the tens place is 2. Okay. So we start from right hand side. The lowest value is units and tens. 
that means when you start writing numbers you must be knowing when you started with the concept of a number how did we start single digit numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 after 9 we got a two digit number the first two digit number is 10 and henceforth you will see that all numbers are just addition so when you go to the next number 10 plus 1 is 11 so this units place this single digit which you are adding to 10 becomes the units place okay so 10 plus 2 is 12 this is how we started with we need to remember this because when we go to five digit number we should know how do we derive to the number how did we arrive to that number that will help you to read the number okay so this is with two digit or three digit numbers this we have done in second and third standard we will move a bit ahead and we will see what type of questions are asked with it. Okay, What are the examples that are given and how do we ask it? Right? This is a two digit number. Now if you go to a three digit number say if I have one over here that means this number is this place first of all you need to understand Okay, at which place that digit is you need to understand those place values then you can read a number. Okay, so units is again 3, tens is 2 and hundreds place number came as 1. So when you read this number, you are going to read it as 123. There is a particular way of writing it. Okay, a particular way of reading it. I cannot say 1, 2, 3. Okay, because when I say 1, 2, 3, I don't know what is their sequence. I don't know what is the exact value of that number. When we are starting with the number, we will already see them writing in a vertical way. Okay, How do they increase and what are the place values? We will have a chart of it. For 5 digit number, if you start, you always start from right hand side. Remember, this is either units or this is called ones. Okay? We will show it vertically first so that it is easy for you to understand. Units or ones. This is the first digit that comes into your number. Second digit is tens. That is the number is about 10. Okay. Then is hundreds. This is the third digit that is coming in your number. Fourth digit thousand, ten thousand, after thousand, one, two, three, four. That means if I have a four digit number, then I come to thousand. For example, this is two thousand. I have all zeros in front of it. Units place, tens place, hundreds place. Everywhere is a zero. Okay. And the fourth digit is two. So, this becomes two thousand. Now, when I add one more number to my left hand side, suppose I add 5 over here, then it is 10,000 place. 10,000 in the sense 5 is multiplied by 10,000. So, it becomes 50. So, it is 1000 place is 2. So, this becomes 52,000. See how the number is read. Right from first standard, we have been taught how to read a number and how to write a number. So, the last digit that you have is written by AND. For example, if I have 3 over here, then how do we write this number? It is 52,000 AND 3. The last units place is written by showing AND. That means it is the last number, last digit in your number. Okay. So, see the way they are written. We will take one example. How do you read a number? It is a 3 digit number, simple 3 digit number. Units place 5, tens place 1, hundreds place again 1. So, it is 100. When you are reading, you start from left hand side. When you are writing the number, also you start from left hand side. But when you are assigning the place values, you are starting from right hand side. So, for reading a number, I should know this is units place, tens place and 
hundreds place when i am assigning the place values i am assigning it from right hand side i don't assign it from this side okay it's not from the left hand side but when i am reading a number it has to be from left hand side in your school syllabus do we have this of course we have it of course then what are the types of questions that are asked over there very straight forward questions hardly two marks three marks questions you will have or you'll have them in fill in the blanks right but for scholarship you will see you have an entire topic based on it different types of questions based on it where you have options now when you have options it becomes difficult for you i'll show how is that goes okay this is one again over here so this is thousands place which is denoted as th and 10000 or denoted as t th okay now if i have here so this number will be read as 51000 because you have this as thousands please 51000 do we have anything at hundreds please no so 51000 and 15 if i don't skip i don't use a zero then maybe i read it as 51 and 15 i may read it as 5000 and 15 in my options i'll have all this to be coming up so to be very sure about what i am reading am i right with it i i need to know what is the sequence it goes in we'll see three digit numbers how to read them how it can be confusing only with three and four digit first initially we'll start with three and four digit which we are very good at which we have done till fourth standard okay so reading a number and writing a number only till four digit and Five digit, we'll say. So lakhs and less than one lakh. After ten thousand, after thousand, you'll have ten thousand. Then you have one lakh. See the way they are formed. Okay, one single units place one. When I write ten, I write zero on my right hand side. Zero written on the left hand side has no meaning. We never write a number like this. If I write this as zero five two, okay, I don't call as zero hundred and fifty two. I'll call it as fifty two. So any zero written on the left hand side of the number carries no value. It should not be considered. Okay, it is meaningless. We say, but a zero on the other hand side. If I have a zero on my right hand side, of course this will change the value of the number. Now this becomes five hundred and twenty. So whenever I'm starting a number, it always starts with a digit on the left hand side. Hundred. So one with two zeros. One thousand. We are increasing the number of zeros over here for our convenience to understand. The way of writing it is, I put a comma over here to show that it is one thousand. Now, I have one zero over here. One two. Three zeros. Previous three zeros are there, so I'm going to have a comma over here. The comma will tell me which place it denotes about. Even if there is no comma, I need to count. I need to find out which digit it is. Practice will tell you without counting. Also, you will not get confused if you are practiced. Okay. So you have four zeros with one. That is ten thousand. You will have five zeros. Two zeros over here and three zeros, which are thousand. Again, a comma over here. Initially, you will see that the first comma comes after three digit, and the second comma comes after two digit. Okay, so units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, one lakh. This becomes six digit number. Okay, I add one more zero over here, and it is going to be ten lakh. So if you see, I have six zeros for ten lakh. Okay, a number after this goes to crore. 
So I have one more zero added to this and it becomes a crore number which is an eight digit number. So five to seven digit numbers as what well are considered for your syllabus. Now how to read them? When they are with zeros, it becomes very easy. But if you have a zero in between coming up, okay, then how do we read that number? We'll go few, for a few examples, we'll see. For example, if I have 2395, okay, now different options of writing this, that was what we were talking about is in scholarship what happens is when options are given to you, sometimes it becomes very difficult, okay, if I am not worse with it, then options given to me for this would be twenty three. Thousand because this is thousands please so twenty three thousand and ninety five okay this is first option second option two thousand and three ninety five. Third option is twenty thousand three hundred and nine five. Fourth option. Three hundred and ninety-five. Okay. Now see all the options. What is wrong into it? When I say twenty-three thousand, okay. When it is. 10,000's place, we know how many zeros are supposed to be there, rather how many digit number it is. So for having number more than 10,000, I need to have 5 digit number. Okay, Is this a 5 digit number? No. Fine, this is not a 5 digit number. So this option is cancelled. When you are looking through the options, you will see that two options are very close to your answer and two options can be rejected the moment you see them. Okay, So 23,000 is gone. 2,395, okay. Is there something mentioning about hundreds place? Do I have a number in hundreds place? That is what I need to know first, okay. So straightforward writing the answer is easy. Selecting the answer from the options is not easy sometimes, okay. It takes time. Plus, we have already mentioned that for every question, we have only one minute. So only practice will help me to come up with this time limit okay i cannot have more than one minute for one question so i need not i don't have rather i don't have this much time that i'm going to go through each and every option i need to search my correct answer in the option so do i have 100 over here no this is also gone Twenty thousand. do i have twenty thousand here no so i don't need to go through the entire statement two thousand three hundred and ninety five Okay, this is what is my correct answer. So going from options to the answer or knowing the answer first and searching it in the options. These are two ways you do it. Okay, I should be sure about my answer. I should not get confused with the options that are given to me. Sometimes it is written in words and you have to search the number in figures. Okay, it's given in words, you have to search it in figures. For example, if I say the number is 1055, okay, see the given options.
third option fourth option One thousand and fifty-five. The way it is given, okay. I am reading it. One thousand written and then fifty-five is written. So is this the way it has to be written in figures? No. When I say one thousand, that means one is the digit at thousands place. Do I have anything after that? Yes, I have fifty-five after that. When it is a thousands place number, how many digit it should be? It should be a four-digit number. This is what I need to know. This is my knowledge. Okay, this is what I'm going to use over here. So one thousand, the number starting with one thousand and anything after that should be a four-digit number. Hence, when I'm looking to the options, what is my way of doing it, or the right way I'm supposed to do is four-digit numbers. I'll take only four-digit numbers. These are two options where I have four-digit numbers. These are two options where I have six-digit number and five-digit number. so this should be discarded the moment i see the question the moment i read the question it is 1055 that means the number has to be a four digit number right so these two are where i can get confused 1055 this is 1550 i i see 55 in the number but is that 55 at units and tens place no okay So, if I have this in my mind, the moment I read it, if I can flash out with what is the correct answer, then it's easy to spot it out from the given options. Otherwise, given options are going to confuse you. Okay. We have seen a number with one lakh also. Let's see one example, which says okay, I'll write it in words. You need to find out how will be, how are you going to write it in figures. Eighty lakhs, eighty thousand. Eighty lakhs and eighty thousand. This is the given number in words. How will you write in figures? See the options that you have. Second option: eight zero, eight zero. Eighty lakhs, eighty thousand, and eighty. Okay. Eight triple zero, eighty, eighty, and eighty. Fourth option: eight zero, eight zero, eight double zero, eight. now when you are saying you need to have 80 in your units place and tens place okay so it's a two digit number from my right hand side you will see that these two options are going to be discarded you cannot have this right plus when i am saying 80 lakhs where do i have what how many digit number it should be it should be seven digit number So these are the two things which I'm going to check out first. When I read the number in words, and I want to find it in figures, these are the two first steps that I'm going to take. 
when i read the number i need to know how many digit number it should be and what should be its units place or last two digits units and tens place okay so if 80 is what i need to have in units and tens place and i'm starting with a seven digit number okay then i need to check here this is not a seven digit number this is a seven digit number 80 lakhs 80000 if i give a comma as we have seen there when i start giving commas it becomes easy for me to read the number after three digit i'm giving a comma after two digit there's a comma so it becomes 80 lakhs 80000 if you see here this way 80 lakhs 80000 and 80 if i skip the zero in between that is what they have done here so 80 lakhs 80000 and 80 my zero is not seen here because we don't read a zero then i may get confused these are two answers which are very close to each other but there is a difference between them a slight difference and this is what is seen in scholarship in your regular course they'll ask you to directly write this they'll give you in words they'll tell you to write it in figures maybe you'll write this also you can write this also okay unless your teacher checks it you will not know what is right and what is wrong but here when four options are given to me then it becomes more confusing hence my duty is i need to know the accurate answer when i know the accurate answer then it becomes easy for me to search that answer from the given options okay we'll go to the next topic next type of questions in this so the first type of questions we have seen either the number is given in words and they have asked you to write it in figures or it is given in figures you have to write it in words other than this what is the question that is asked we are dealing with numbers from 1 to 100 also okay so reading writing a number five digit number seven digit number but other than that what are the elements in the number that is digits so from 1 to 100 what are the different digits that are occurring and how many times do they occur this information is something which is asked or questions are asked based on this particular information we'll see how to find it out first how do you know how many times a digit is going to occur for example how many times from 1 to 100 you do not have a digit 8 how many numbers don't have a digit 8 now if you see how to calculate this we'll go to a formula for this i show you a formula to solve this so if you see how many numbers are going to have 8 from 1 to 100 if you check out from 1 to 10 you have 8 occurring once okay in the second lot from 11 to 20 you will have 8 again coming once Okay, which is twenty eighteen over here, then twenty eight, thirty eight, forty eight, fifty eight, sixty eight, seventy eight. Now, in the terms of eight, eighties, what do you call? Okay, all the numbers from eighty one, rather from eighty to eighty nine. You have ten numbers because eighty is also calculated with it. Okay, so these are ten together. Plus you'll have ninety-eight. From one to hundred, we are talking about. So one by one, we have written so that we can count them. This is first one digit which is going to occur from one to hundred. Okay, so if you count them, how many are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus ten. Okay. So nineteen times you will see from plus an eighty-eight, you have two times eight occurring. So total twenty times from one to hundred, you are having the digit which is eight, which is going to occur. Any digit for that matter. We have taken example of eight. Even if you talk about six, in case of six, what will happen? Okay. So six, sixteen, twenty-six, thirty-six, forty-six, 
56 66 remember in 66 so all 60s they are again 10 starting from 60 to 69 76 86 and 96 again when you count there you will see that all they are 20 so any particular digit except 0 okay you will see that 1 to 9 all these digits occur 20 times from 1 to 100 so how many numbers are there now which don't have 8 obviously from 100 when i minus this 20 i'll get it was 80 this was my correct answer so in the options you will see that you have 21 20 81 and 80 so both are confusing either what i'll do is in a hurry i'll count this and then i'll say it's 20 okay or maybe i go ahead and i count this twice so it becomes 21 i subtract it i either get 80 or i get 81 if this is 19 i would have got 81 fine so one digit here and there in my counting my answer goes wrong so two close answers when we say in this case also if i don't read it correctly if that do not is not read properly if i read that how many numbers from 1 to 100 are going to have a digit 8 then my answer would be 80 okay don't have as 80 and have as 20 so if i would have read it as how many numbers have digit 8 i would have written 20 how many numbers do not have then i'll subtract and do it so we say that this question is a tricky question it's a difficult level question because unless i read it carefully i don't arrive to the correct answer okay so any digit occurring from 1 to 100 how many times the digit is occurring we'll say then it was 20 times how many numbers were having it only 19 number have it okay so 88 will be counted as one number remember these are two different statements how many times the digit 8 has occurred from numbers 1 to 100 if this is the question then only 19 numbers were there they were not 20 okay how many times does the digit 8 occurred from numbers 1 to 100 digit is occurring 20 times answer here would be it is occurring 20 times if you are asking how many numbers contain digit 8 contain digit 8 from 1 to 100 then it would be 19 my answer over here would be 19 because number 88 it has digit 8 occurring two times but as a number it will be counted as only one single number Okay, so this is second type of a question that is asked on numbers. The first type of a question we have seen is read a number or write a number, and that also we have started from units to ten lakhs. After ten lakhs is one crore and ten crore. That is what you have in your syllabus. Okay, not more than that. So how they are confusing and all that we will see in the next session.